When did they backfill it? So the expansion was around 1999. Okay. They used to go and jut out a little bit more. And obviously you can tell, you know, there's natural springs. I mean, it's, it's built into the hillside for sure. What was the one that was just full of like a bunch of bent bicycles? It's just like, well, that's kind of an odd choice. Like, somebody spent so long digging these, and then so many of them are just forgotten. Super cool. So you're saying that they used the steam from the brewery to heat the mansion that's down there. So these pipes are sitting on the other side of the Here. Um, so it's a big, dark, roasty beer um, that we put in the barrels, and then they sit down here for 
about six, seven, eight months, depending on the kind of beer, and then we release it um, out of the barrels, back into the tanks, finish it off, and then we bottle it or bottle uh, condition it. So it's still used for brewing. Um, but primarily what would happen is we had an ice house on the far side by the mansion. So the horses would come uh, with big saws during the winter and cut off the ice and it would go to the ice house and then um, it would be stored there and then as needed they would bring it down here and fill these all these caves with ice, fill it with sawdust, and that would be um, basically the, the coolant that would be needed right like now it's like black hole and oily water mix, um, but it used to just be ice chunks. So if we had like a mild winter we didn't get that much ice. Um, we'd have to stop brewery production in like July or August. So it really relied on the ice, and that's why you picked the spot down by the river here uh, to help with that, that refrigeration aspect of, of uh, the beer making process. Okay. Right into the cellar. Okay. Um, I'm bring here, so. He's got so this was the original brewery was on the other side, this was all the cellars. This was all open and this was all stay cool because of the ice. Actually, we like this. Okay. It's amazing. So yeah, so that was the cellar, and then up here, this was the original, so the original brewery was in this area here. Okay. Um, pretty much from here over was the original brewery. So this is where they did all the brewing, and then they would, or the brewery would be up top, and then they'd ship off to the base for the position. And then as they expanded, um, they built out more, and that, that's when they built like the top of that, the bottom part. And this, Yeah, primarily we're going to be at 
ceiling, drop more tanks in, make a new ceiling. <laughs> so we, uh, we just grew as, as we needed with the space that we had. So cool. Yeah, so that's a couple guys in front of this. They're down right here in front of that door. And then uh, behind you here, this is a picture of our boiler. So this is right here was the original shell house. Okay. And then as the family grew, Teresa made him build this. So then they built the, the tap room and everything, made this one big house. As the family grew, they then built this over here. So the right side on the stucco here, so this was the boarding house. So the workers, you know, the town's three, three and a half miles away. Sure. So these young guys would come to work on Sunday night, work all week, stay here. And then on Friday afternoon, they would find a horse or walk into town and do whatever young men did. And then they would come back and bunk up, and then the other was caught me up guard. I thought it was fake. We got two of them. They were on the ground. That's so cool. So we have three or four. I can't remember right now. Three or four deer in the deer pen. So you can see where the, the red door is, not the outhang. Yeah. So there's three spots there. This was the original carriage house, and then the horses were underneath. So that's the last existing true way of that by shells that's on display right there. Well, the next horse is up here and the rolling barrels down to the way.
picture, but I'm like, I don't know. It's kind of like safe space. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Do you guys have a female here, too? We just have these two guys. Oh, you just have two guys. Okay. I didn't know the guy in there was saying they go up on the roof. Yeah, they go everywhere. Like we've like found them like up and by the golf course. Like someone will call us like, "Hey, Rika, we have like a, a makeshift house that we have over yeah. there that we kind of help insulate a little bit." But I mean, oh, is that by the deer? Okay, yeah. we heard something in there. I'm like, I'm no, going. I do not know yeah. what the hell it is. No. <laughs> yeah, the little squawk. Yeah. That's yeah. Kind of a you can see there used to be right underneath us there used to be a door into the brewery and then here was um, that front sure. that I was telling you guys about and then up here I'll show you when we get to the grain belt area but this is where they would just cut hole and there's just tanks 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 sticking out of the <laughs> ceiling here and then that that canyon and so remember that hole in the wall I said the copper kettle or the old kettles and the new kettles we were taking pictures so this is that room that we were so that door, okay. I said, remember that door? It's this door right here. Sure, okay. Yeah, but you're not holding them. These are the brand new ones. Yep. These ones are all stainless steel, you can tell. Yeah, so this is the that chair here. The clock is one of those. That's the door set. Come on. Remember that tank I said was sticking on the wall? <laughs> oh, my. Right. There she is. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Measured a couple times and he was sure that it would fit. And here we are. Oh, I just don't want to fit. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, then what would be the target of To your left here is kind of the first boilers, ammonia compressors, a lot of that stuff. So this used to not, this is where we used to be able to drive into that I explained. So all these pipes and stuff are not really used too much anymore. Um, but they used to have. To have different check valves in here and this is how they measured how much beer you were making. The government wanted a separation so they could measure every ounce of fluid that would go through. Okay. And this is how you would report to the, uh, the government how much beer you're making for taxes and all that kind of wow. stuff. But yeah, you used to have to be in the brewery and then or yeah the brewery and then the sellers had to be kind of separated.
off all the excess things from the sugars and start that kind of that brewing process and then they move down into all those things that I showed you guys brewing the store. As as everything was kind of popping down, they would be cleaning one to one another and just kind of keep the liquid like moving and just using gravity and help gravity. Just individual bottles or cans. Really? And then it'll go through depending on where we, we kick it this way, it goes on the that machine, we kick it this way, it goes on that machine, the packages, and then just right here it goes back down the back of the downstairs.
have to step on the stairs. Yeah, so on the other side of the wall is that bottom one she makes that plus two, goes to the patch right over here, and then kicks out, and then it's checked three or four times along this for contaminants, anything like that. He starts his day empty or picking up a truck full of supplies at the warehouse, brings it up, drops it at the, um, the loading dock, unhooks his truck, picks the full one up, brings that one down. They are unloading that one and refilling the supplies on the other one. And he literally just does this dance just all day there. long. That's um, all he does. And so we have one, one guy that sits here. So he works on the decal and the palletizer and he's out here loading them into the truck. So he's responsible of basically starting, he's the first one to touch it and the last one to touch it as it enters wow. the leaves are building. That's crazy. This almost looks like those water tanks in Minneapolis. Shells. I showed you all those other tanks on their side, mostly shells. This is mostly green belt. Bigger is but used for very different purposes. place is fun you gotta come check it out if you guys see this video well worth the drive very nice people very beautiful place We do like small little weddings. We're working on uh, a plan for some bigger stuff and actually hosting them. But yeah, we, yeah. you know, on any given uh, Saturday, we get two or three things out here for photos. Just for pictures, yeah. yeah. Just
of sand they got on the roof. I just want to live here. Is that one alive or? It was. Right here, here there's more brewing, more expansion. You can kind of see the wall down in the middle of the brewery. Here's Prohibition, hit Prohibition, so this is pretty cool. At a little farm town, just toss some beer in the road. So then they do pop. So they mentioned 19 root beer, candies, and uh, like near beer, it was like 0 0.05% alcohol. <laughs> Here's the hole on the wall I was telling you about that they would cut in to, to build stuff. Here's, like I said, the gardens were originally vineyards, all closed up for the family. And then Ted's grandpa takes over with Al Marty, and then George, and then Ted, and then the boys. So it's pretty quick here. But again, obviously, a lot of history. Um, back in the day, you could go drink it, bring it back to the brewery for a deposit. Sure. So literally, they'd go past, and this thing would just spin with the bottle and be lit up. So he'd be looking for contaminants of if there was a spider or dirt or a cigarette or whatever. If they missed it during the cleaning process, this guy literally sat here and just stared at bottles going past him. Oh my god! Uh, they built this uh, patio over here, yeah. and then now we have this this state of the art beer wall. Trying to keep the aesthetic, uh, obviously, uh, the history of the pictures, um, not having it too modern, but obviously, it's not the uh, functions as we need. There's the new job.
like ceilings. 